I've had a couple of you ask about a rose update. So far, I haven't seen any more aphids or rose slugs on the leaves. I have seen a few other little bugs on the actual rose flowers. But speaking of rose flowers, we have some beautiful blooms. Let me show you. And I wish you guys could smell these flowers because they truly smell amazing. I think they smell so nice. One kind of funny thing though, these two hybrid tea roses were supposed to look like this and they're neon yellow. These are the two that I bought at Costco. If you saw my Costco plant haul, I'll link it up above so you can check that out. But these roses, they're still beautiful and they smell amazing. However, they're just not exactly the color I expected them to be. I still think they're really pretty, but it was a little bit of a surprise when I saw them bloom. I don't know if it's just the wrong rose that was packaged or if it has to do with my soil nutrients pH or something. Again, this is my first year growing roses, so I'm not 100% positive. Let me know in the comments if you know of why a rose color would change. <laughs> it may be my first year growing roses, but I bought another one. <laughs> I ordered the Eden Climbing Rose from Heirloom Roses. You see it here. It just arrived in the mail yesterday. And I'm going to be putting it on this retaining wall fence. The other day I stained these retaining wall fences. Or rather, I should say I sealed them. I just put a clear coat of sealant on them. And I'm hoping to train the rose to climb down along this fence. So we're going to plant it in the ground right here in front of the fence. And get it in hopefully before it rains here. There are some very ominous rain showers coming our way here. So it's a nice cloudy overcast day for putting out some transplants, but I do want to get this plant in the ground before it rains on me. So this is the Eden Rose from Heirloom Roses. And actually a girl who was in our old Bible study before we moved had this rose in her backyard and I thought it was stunning and so I definitely had it on my list of must tries. So I think we're just going to put it right here in the ground. just finished putting that one into the ground. There's like two separate canes here on this. Initially I had it facing this way, but since it's a climbing rose, I wanted them to be horizontal and kind of towards the fence. That way I can train it up this way. And I tried to angle it ever so slightly towards the fence so that I could train it. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be able to get it to climb without adding any wire to this or if it'll just go on its own up the wood. We'll see what happens on that. When I ordered this Eden rose, I also ordered another rose for my mother. And that rose had some branches that had broken off during shipment. So I'll show you what I did with those here. So rather than just throw these away, I'm gonna try to see if I can root them and grow them in the ground. So I'm just gonna take the stems and my plan is to just trim off some of these thorns to give it some like open wounds and then use some of the rooting hormone and then just put it straight into the ground. We are having very hot and humid weather, so I don't think I need to put a dome on it or anything. I'm just gonna try to put it into the ground and see if that works. Hopefully they take. So here are my two pieces that broke off during shipment. You can see how the edge is just kind of broken. I'm just gonna cut it to make it a clean edge and then trim off a few of the thorns as well. I've got my filmer here for me today.
and I put those in the ground here in front of the Eden Rose. Hopefully they'll take off and get established here. If these two cuttings that fell off during shipment take hold and get rooted, I think that pretty much does it for my rose hedge here along the side of the porch. I'm really excited about this Eden Rose. I really hope it grows and does nicely. We have another retaining wall fence on the other side of the house as well for our walkout basement here. I may wait and see how this Eden Rose does. And if I really like that, I may get another one for the other side or may try a different variety. If you have any recommendations for another climbing rose for the other retaining wall fence, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear any of your suggestions that you may have. Thanks for joining me today as I planted some more roses and did a little update for you guys. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye y'all.